We know that an electron wave like this can be transformed into a wave like this. This transformation occurs because light with a specific frequency is being absorbed, and so the energy change of the electron is a fixed quantity related to that frequency. This energy change is represented by this arrow here. This arrow represents the light energy being absorbed by the n equals 2 wave that allows the wave to transform into an n equals 3 wave. It is a change in energy. We can actually figure out what type of light is being absorbed by the electron that allows it to undergo this transformation by calculating the wavelength. Which of the following is correct for the energy change of this electron? In order to calculate the wavelength of the light, we first need to find the change in energy of the electron. Recall, all energy changes are represented by E final minus E initial, and we know that the energy of a hydrogen atom electron wave is given by the formula E sub n is equal to negative 2.1799 attajoules times 1 over n squared. We start off with our electron with an n equals 2 wave. This is our initial state. When our electron undergoes its transformation when it absorbs light, our new state is n equals 3. This is our n final. That means that the change in energy of the process of n equals 2 to n equals 3 is written as the following. But we're not done just yet. This is the change in energy of the electron, but we want to know about the light. Since it is the resonance between the light and the electron wave that causes the transformation of the electron, this energy change, 0.3028 attajoules, must also be equal to the photon energy of the light that causes the transformation. Calculate the wavelength of this light. Now that we have calculated the energy of the light, we can use this to solve for the wavelength. Recall that the relationship between the energy of the light and the wavelength is given by this equation. By plugging in the energy, Planck's constant, and the speed of light, our wavelength comes out to 656 nanometers. What type of light on the electromagnetic spectrum is being absorbed? That's right, this black line represents the red light being absorbed during the n equals 2 to n equals 3 transformation. Now that the electron is an n equals 3 wave, it is higher in energy and over time it will get rid of the extra energy by emitting light. One possible emission is the opposite of the absorption that we just discussed. It can emit light and return to being an n equals 2 electron wave. What is true about the energy of this process? When our electron wave goes from an n equals 3 wave to an n equals 2 wave, energy is being released and the arrow is going down. Therefore, the total change in energy is negative. Where is the energy going? That's right, when energy is released, it is released in the form of light. Calculate the wavelength of this n equals 3 to n equals 2 transformation. Our initial wave is n equals 3. When this electron emits light, the new state is n equals 2. This is our n final. That means that delta E equal to E final minus E initial is equal to E sub 2 minus E sub 3. By plugging in our numbers, we end up with an answer of negative 0.3028 attajoules. But remember, this answer has just given us the energy change of the electron, and our goal is to find the wavelength of the light. Notice how this value is a negative value. This is because energy is being released. Therefore, the total change in energy is negative. The photon energy of this light, however, is always positive. So E photon is equal to 0.3028 attajoules. Now that we have our energy value, let's plug this back into our light equation. Notice how the wavelength is the same. This makes perfect sense since the same light that causes the absorption will be what is emitted in the reverse process. This spectrum here shows the light being emitted when the electron undergoes the n equals 3 to n equals 2 transformation. Note, this is not the only possible emission for our n equals 3 electron wave. In a later video, we will look at all of the possible emissions for any given electron wave.